Good. My name is Gavin. I'm the Crossroads Mystic. You guys are here for that, right? Right. Fire, danger, escapes. Sound good? Yeah. Hypnotized. Cool. What? Hypnotized. Hypnotized. We'll get to the hypnotism. It's awesome. Might be my favorite part of the show. No, that's my favorite. Might be my second favorite. Well, no. Might be my third favorite. It's good. <laughs> So, my name's Kevin, I'm the Crossroads Mystic, I'm a live entertainer! Makes this a live show! Makes you guys a live audience. Wow. <laughs> I can see you, you can see me, we can talk, we can interact, we can have fun. How's that sound? Good. Okay, beyond the front row, how does that sound? <laughs> Excellent. Now, in the Renaissance, there's a word I really like. It means awesome or great or wonderful. Anybody know what that is? Huzzah, exactly. So if I go hip hip, you guys go? Huzzah. If I strike a fancy pose, you guys go? Huzzah. Or if you see anything you like, you guys go? Huzzah. Perfect. Now, if I were a magician with a hat, what is one thing you'd expect to be able to see? Pull a rabbit out of a hat, right? You guys want to see that? Yes. Yeah. Right, here we go. Hip hip. Huzzah. Huzzah. It's a little hair. Oh. <laughs> I like to start the show with that joke because it sets the bar really low. <laughs> Nobody's disappointed at the end of the day. <laughs> now, if you guys will stare right at the center of the spiral. Look deep into the center of the spiral. Keep staring and keep staring. You start to get that Twilight Zone feeling. Doctor Who time tunnel. There we go. Keep staring, keep staring. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Look at my head. You see something you like, you say? That's awesome. You guys want to see what happens if we go the other direction? Or not? Yes. Yes, there we go. Stare right at the center of the spiral. Keep staring. Keep staring at the center of the spiral. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Look at my head. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is one of my favorite ones to in your brain. But it has some practical applications. At home, I have a really small television. Instant big screen. End of the month, those bills come in. Oh, I make those smaller. All right, enough silliness. You guys are here for danger and fire. Right? Right. Yeah. Okay, a lot of what I do is dangerous. I can hurt myself. So I have magic water imported from India. I spill a little bit of that out. It protects me from all those crazy dangerous things. You don't look like you believe me. Huh? A little bit of magic water from India protects me from all those... Never mind. Good wind right now. That's what I need. You notice it was calm before I lit the flame. There we go. But nothing? Huzzah! Thank you, thank you. Now, when most people see a fire eater, they ask themselves one question. That question is, wow, I wonder if he gets burnt. And the answer to that is, yes, I do, because fire is... Fire. Fire is hot. Yes. But what you don't realize is the fuels I use are toxic. And no matter how good I am, every time I put one of these in my mouth, I swallow a little bit of that. So yes, every weekend I run the chance of burning myself. But every day I'm slowly poisoning myself for your amusement. There's always somebody that likes that.
Now you see me pass the fire from one torch to the other using my hand, and you see me place it in my mouth. I'll now combine the two, taking a lit torch, placing it in my mouth, keeping some of the fire there, and using that fire to light the second torch. This is actually my favorite fire stunt. Uh huh. <laughs> Just give me a little break. Let me get through this. wouldn't want to see me put both those in my mouth at the same time. Yes. 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 <laughs> really, I'm going to hurt myself, don't you? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I burned a little of my beard hair on that one. That's okay, I don't mind burning my beard hair, but when I burn nose hair, it takes three days for the smell to go away. <laughs> Not funny. All right, so, you know I've been burning myself, and you know I've been poisoning myself, but do you want to see something where my head could potentially explode? Yeah. 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 I thought you might. Oh no, I already know where this is going. the conversation about it being hot. <laughs> you guys like that? Yeah. yeah. You want to see that again? Yeah. I'll do it a little different this time. Let's start on one side with the fireball. I'm going to take it all the way over and I'm going to light the other torch on the other side, which isn't lit. Yeah, come up. Get some good seats up front in what I like to call the splash zone. <laughs> <laughs> the stuff that's slowly killing me. <laughs> All right, so now who wants to see a fireball that goes 55 foot into the air? Yay! And I want to give that to you. Yay. One word of warning, though. I'm a really bad judge of distance. <laughs> I think I'm going to do this one from over here. <laughs> Alright, so I promised you fire and I gave you fire. 
So I promised you fire, and I gave you fire. Yeah. Yeah. I also promised you danger. Now I can make the argument that the fire is dangerous. Nope, you guys aren't buying that? No. 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 Doesn't satisfy your desire for danger? Nope. No. <clears throat> All right. What if I do the world's most dangerous card trick? What? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Not fire. Yeah. No, the cards will not be set on fire. Will you be set on fire? No, the fire portion of the show has ended. We're moving on to the danger. <laughs> you think it's safe to come back now? Yes. <laughs> All right, so you're asking yourself, a card trick? How is that dangerous? It's dangerous. And I say, who here hasn't had a paper cut? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Nope, nope, no. No. I'm going to make the card trick dangerous by using one of these. Oh, okay. Oh. It is an animal trap. It is the type of trap you use to catch wolf or bear. You set them by pressing down on the spring like this, opening the jaws like that, and then carefully setting the delicate trigger mechanism. Lustily. <laughs> Like that. Now I know you're saying, how does that work into a card trick? Simple. A card will be selected, lost in the deck, and then the entire deck will be placed in the trap. I will then quickly go through the cards, pulling out the selected card, and when I'm done, hopefully it'll look like this and not this. <laughs> does that seem dangerous? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Does that seem dangerous enough? No. No. no! What if I were to do that? Well, oh my gosh. blindfolded. Oh, oh yeah. yeah! Is that good? Yeah! Because that's all the more dangerous this one's getting. <laughs> <laughs> now imagine, if you will, little bunny Foo Foo is hopping through the forest. <laughs> Nippity, hoppity. That was a pretzel. Do you want a pretzel? Half price. Yeah! Here, pretzel bites. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to need the help of someone to select a card. What's your name? Mine? Yours. Annie. Annie, everyone to begin for Annie. Annie, come on up. Annie, you having fun at the Renaissance Festival today? Yeah, yeah, we'll see what we can do to change that. Right. <laughs> Annie, before we do this, do you want to do something really fun? Depends. On what? If it's dangerous. No, it's not dangerous at all. <laughs> Annie, do you know what this is? A balloon. A balloon. You know what kind of balloon, Annie? A very long one. Mm -hmm. A real long balloon. They're called animal balloons or modeling balloons. It's what you see count clowns twist up into cute, cuddly things. <laughs> what do you want to see this cute and cuddly, Annie? What do you want to make? A rabbit. Another oh, hair. Another yeah, hair. Okay, hair. actually, I don't do a hair. All I right. can do a snake. That's not cute. Aw, look, he ate a hair. <laughs> I like to call this part, look, mom, no hands. <laughs> you know where that goes? Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, it gets better. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh. Now, Annie, here's what I need you to do. I need you to look nice and close. Grab the tip of the balloon. No. With your teeth. No. <laughs> Uh, Annie, do you have any experience as a lunch lady? Thankfully, no. So you don't know how to use a pair of these? No. All right, it's got to be your teeth. <laughs> Just grab the tip of the balloon. Uh, Everybody be in for Annie. Yeah. I'm guessing she doesn't want to suit the hair either. <laughs> All right, back to the card trick. You ready for this? <laughs> Come here. It's okay. Now, Annie, see how that card has lots of room to write on? Yes. And like that card doesn't? 
We need one that has lots of room to write on. Pick any card you want. Don't let me influence your decision at all. Okay, that'll work too. <laughs> now, Annie, on the face of that card, I need you to put your initials, a smiley face, a quick drawing of the Eiffel Tower, something so if we see that card again, we will recognize it. All right. All right, hand me back the pen, capped, please. Thank you. Place your card right there. Everybody, Annie's card. Hopefully not for the last time today. Oh, there you go, Annie. Oh, no! <laughs> what? <laughs> no, go ahead, put that on. He is sleep. Can I put it on you? No, you put it on you. Right. Annie, can you see anything? Yeah, put it on. Can you see anything now? No. Okay, good. <laughs> now, Annie, if you'll just step over here towards the trap. I'm kidding, Annie. I'll take the blindfold. <laughs> now, Annie, two things. I'm about to put this on. A, don't leave. All right. B, don't touch that. Okay. <laughs> It's not a bomb. <laughs> it's a trap. <laughs> Said Admiral Akbar. <laughs> All right, Annie, I need your hand. Grab me by this wrist. Now place my hand about 12 inches above the cards. Now lower it to about six inches. Okay, good. That's about six. All right, give me your hand. Concentrate on your card. I want to go down until I just touch the my hands part. <laughs> oh. Okay. Annie, you sure you don't want to put the blindfold on and try this? Yep. <laughs> One, two, three weeks ago when I did this. <laughs> Probably not a good time for that story. Can you see your card in your mind, Annie? Yep. Ah what happened? They all went, did the trap go off? No. Oh, that's just scary. Okay. Um. The trap's still set. Uh -huh. yeah. I still have all my fingers. Yeah. <laughs> that has not happened before. <laughs> now I'm really nervous. <laughs> Annie, do you still have all my fingers? Yes, you do. All right, for the first time, tell me what your card was. Something that I wrote A and B on with a seven on it. Seven of clubs. <laughs> Thank you, Annie. Yay! They do aerial stuff. It's really awesome. You definitely should see it. It will start at 5 o'clock. It will be the last show of the day. And during their last show of the day, someone always dies. Okay, that part's not true. <laughs> Where were we? Oh, yes, escape. So we will have an attempt to escape from that straight jacket right there and this. Okay. 35 foot of chain. <laughs> Some people call it a show. I call it just another Saturday night. <laughs> now for this, I will need the help of a volunteer. Someone tall. Someone no. <laughs> so, Someone no. <laughs> eager people scare me. I want to help. You want to help? That's what the government says. <laughs> Do you believe it when they say it? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Sir, what's your name? Brad. Brad. Everybody begin for Brad. Come on up. <laughs> what are you doing? Bye, How are you doing, Brad? Now, yeah. Brad, if you stand right here. Brad, this is a padlock. I'm going to hang that right there. I'm going to drop that on the ground. I'll try that again. Hang that right there. We're going to need that in a second. Brad, this is the key to the padlock. If at any point somebody is stuck and the padlock 